it's 100% preventable. It's not. There's going to be some people that probably are still going to get it due to... Nathan Riley really stuck his neck out on this topic, and I encourage you to watch all of his videos on gestational diabetes. And today I just want to add on some layers why you should take gestational diabetes extremely seriously and listen to all of that advice that he provides. The topic really is about insulin resistance. Insulin resistant women and men are more likely to be infertile. Insulin is actually a crucial part of pregnancy. Receptors increase in pregnancy and then return to normal levels after birth. If you are one of the 99% of individuals that can avoid getting gestational diabetes, then you should know that developing it increases your chance of type 2 diabetes later on in life. Women who develop more dramatic insulin resistance in the beginning of pregnancy are more likely to have preeclampsia at the end of pregnancy. And the mother's metabolic health is closely related to the health of the baby. The most common thing you'll see is a high birth weight for the baby, and that makes baby 40% more likely to become obese or have metabolic complications in their later years. Interestingly, low birth weight has the same effect. Internal insulin resistance can also affect mom's breast milk supply. So remember when I said that insulin levels go down after pregnancy? Breastfeeding is part of restoring your insulin sensitivity. So not breastfeeding means you're not taking advantage of one of nature's ways to help you bring that back down. Dads, you're also not in the clear. If dad has insulin resistance, it might be one more trait that baby will inherit. Nathan covered all of the advice that I would give you as well. And I think that the general message that's so important to take from this is that our bodies are amazing and they are designed so flawlessly. As long as we take good care of them, they in turn will take good care of us. It's time that we understand these things really well so we don't feel like we are victims of pregnancy. And instead, we know how to optimize our health even during pregnancy and especially during pregnancy so that we as the mom and our baby have the best experience possible.